Welcome to Loving Truth. We're looking at Psalm 103. And in the Psalm, we notice that it is kind of designed, first of all, for David to focus on his own heart when he says, praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. He talks about praising the Lord for who he is, praise his holy name, and praise the Lord and don't forget his benefits. And he mentions the benefits of forgiveness and healing, the, the benefit of being redeemed from the pit and crowned with love and compassion, and the fact that God satisfies our desires and renews us so that we're like an eagle in strength and energy. Amazing word picture because of God's grace to us. Instead of asking for things in this prayer, David acknowledges what he's already received and praises the Lord for it. Now he encourages the whole community, the wider believing community, to praise the Lord in verse 6. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. Now, right there, you might think that he's referring to the law and the law that Moses received on Mount Sinai with all the punishments that come if you don't obey. And all of that is true. But when he talks about the ways that Moses made known, he quotes from Exodus 34. Verse 6, written by Moses, when he said, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in love. Those two virtues that were mentioned back in verse 4, compassion and love. That's what Moses taught the people. And then he put some limitations on himself. God does. God will not always accuse. He'll not always hold his anger against us. And... Secondly, he will not treat us as our sins deserve. He will not repay us according to our iniquities. The only way God can do that is because he paid the penalty for our sin, or Jesus paid the penalty for our sin on the cross. He put the punishment on Jesus. That's the only way that God can deal with the guilty and then not treat the guilty as they deserve because Christ took the payment for our sin for us. By the way, that great verse that Moses gave us in Exodus 34, verse uh, 6, is repeated over and over again. It's in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9. It's in the book of Joel, chapter 2, in the book of Jonah, chapter 4. You'll find it in Psalm 86, and also in Psalm 145, such a great verse, it's repeated over and over and over again. God is filled with love and compassion. Then he goes on to give us three great illustrations that talk about the great love and compassion of God. The first one is found in verse 11, the immeasurable height of heaven. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love to those who fear him. So we don't know the distance. It's, it's beyond us. We can't measure it. And that's how high the love of God is. Verse 12, he talks about an infinite distance when he says, as far as the east is from the west, that's how far he's removed our transgressions from us. And then finally, he gives this incredible illustration of compassion, a loving father, verse 13. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. He knows how we are formed because he made us, and he remembers that we are dust. God knows us thoroughly, and he loves us abundantly. And that's exactly what this psalm is all about, his amazing, tender forgiveness. There's a story about a mom driving the car in the rain. Her seven-year-old boy was in the front seat with her. And after a long pause and silence, the boy spoke up and said, Mom, the, the rain coming on the windshield and the wipers reminds me of God and sin. She said, how so? Well, uh, the rain is like the sin and the wipers are like God's grace forgiving our sin, wiping it away. The mother was thrilled that the message of the Bible had gotten home into his heart. And she said, well, I noticed something else. The rain keeps coming. 
And the boy said, yes. And the wiper keeps wiping the rain away. God's compassion and mercy never fail. Praise him. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that encourages our hearts today of your wonderful forgiveness higher than the heavens, our sin removed further than the east is from the west, and your compassion is so amazing like a father toward his children. We praise you for that in your name. Amen.